Ah, finally, we look more at Girls and Panzer, and today we're looking at Best Girl. Hello and welcome to that man. This is some merchandise, and we are looking at Akiyama Yukari from the Girls on Panzer Nendroid series. I'm actually doing my backlog on Nendroids. I bought this one about a year ago, and I've got two other Nendroids. I like, even older than that, about near coming up to two years. Um, they've been in storage for ages, and I just haven't really bothered to open them. But I will do so now. Ah, Yukari is definitely my favourite out of all of the Panzer girls. I don't know why, she's just really, 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 really fun. And she obsesses over tanks. That's always a plus, I suppose. But you've not came to hear me ramble. Well, no, actually you kind of have. Let's open her up, shall we? And there we have her, with a song on her heart and a smile on her face. She looks absolutely adorable. And yes, I'm definitely getting the, the, the whole vibe of the character from this figure. It was very easy, it's actually quite weird how... The, the, you can tell the, the build quality between these and newer ones are completely different. Um, this is like so slack and... They even make like, the whole thing comes apart so much easier than... Um, the current Nendoroids, where they can be quite stiff and uh, difficult to pull apart. It's really weird. So she comes with extra arms, a few extra faces, and a few other interesting things, including this. Yes, much like all of the other Girls and Panzer uh, figures, you actually get part of the tank. So she can stand on there and have a bit of a tank, which is actually pretty cool because she actually comes with Yeah, it actually comes with an extra hand, so she can actually load it up, or you can make it look like she's loading it up. Which is pretty darn cool, I would say. Let's have a look at some of the other features that Best Girl has, shall we? This is an adorable little pose, I really like this one. Um, it's the whole blush and awkward pose that she has um, at one point during the series. It's actually quite interesting because in the manga, Yukari is actually the main character. And it's very more um, Yuri-esque than uh, the actual anime is. It's quite interesting. It is something I will be covering because I started reading it and I never finished it. But I own all of the volumes. And it's something I actually do want to cover at some point. Um, a whole massive thing on Girls and Panzer. Because it is actually one of my favourite series. Despite me not really talking much about it. It's a really cute series. It's a really fun series. And it's actually the, one of the, the battles are actually really exceptional. I, um, I do recommend it to almost anybody who likes really over-the-top, excellent, amazing uh, battles uh, with a slice, nice slice of life on top of it. I'm not a huge fan of this pose. Uh, it's supposed to be more of a saluting one, but it kind of just looks like awkward. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of this one. It's, it's a bit too awkward for my liking, but that might just be me. Anyways, thank you for coming for this little short unboxing of Yukari. She definitely is the best Girls and Panzer character. Fight me. Oh, let me know who you think is the best one. That's also quite fun as well. Thank you for coming, and thanks again for staying. Goodbye.